Next up on the call to A&M head football coach, Heist Northern, Prairie View defeated Alabama A&M by a final score of 28-26. to 26. This week they will play at Stephen F. Austin for a 7 p.m. kickoff. Coach Northern, are you with us? Yes, sir, I am. Good morning, Coach. If you could talk about your victory over Alabama A&M and uh, preview this week's opponent. Well, <clears throat> to to put it lightly, we didn't get off to a great start. Uh, defensive, we got off okay. Uh, just we're not making plays in, in certain phases of the game, whether it was – uh, some getting some stops or getting some guys in some gaps on the defense side of the ball. I think we the very first play of the game, we get a, a, a movement foul. Uh, just wasn't a great start, uh, man. I, you know, maybe it was our focus or what. I'm not sure what was going on. But at the end of the day, uh, we got back into the game. It wasn't a whole lot of hooping and hollering or great X's and O's adjustments at halftime. We just walked in and talked to the guys about controlling what you can control, and that is how you play. Uh, and and making your plays and guys just start making the plays that we expected them to, uh, and then we withstood a late run by Alabama A&M, and, and you know we got two interceptions in the fourth quarter, which uh, sealed the ball game for us, which was great for us after the week we had before uh, last week, giving up all those yards in the passing game. Uh, for some of our DBs to step up and and actually catch some interceptions this week was a was a big relief for us and and to seal it with our defense on the field, uh, well, it was good for the guys to you know let them know hey if we get where we're supposed to be and do the small things right, then uh, we can win some football games. Uh, you know, like I told our guys last night, we got that out of our system after 24 hours. Now we have to move on to uh, uh, Stephen F. Austin, a, a very good program, uh, about three hours up the road from us, and we look forward to going up there and uh, playing well not only for uh, Prairie View and University, but, you know, the SWAC and HBCU football. Uh, you know, people you know try to down us as coaches or try to down our programs and our players, but at the end of the day, we have to go out there and uh, put a good showing on the field. And we've been talking to our guys about just doing the the do your job. You don't have to do anything spectacular. Take care of the football. Uh, stop the run. Don't get stupid penalties and stay in the ball game. That is is that simple. And at the end of the day, if we do the small things right. Uh, you know, you get the process right, you get the right answer. And by getting the right answer, we mean getting a, a victory. But I, I think it's more to it than just Prairie View playing Stephen F. Austin. There's a lot on the line uh, for us as a conference. And, uh, you know, like say, HBCU football all together. That's the way I look at it. All right, thanks, Coach. The floor is now open for Prairie View head football coach, Heist Northern. Coach Northern, good morning. Charles Redmond from WPRL. Yes, sir. How are you? Doing pretty good. Coach, uh, of course, as you probably know, we've had some struggles out of conference. But we don't play many uh, FCS schools. Uh, just, just talk about, you know, that aspect of it, not playing as many. I know the guarantee isn't isn't as, as big, but uh, you all have you know, had a chance to play Sam Houston and Stephen F. Austin. So just talk about playing the FCS schools compared to FBS. Well, I, I think part of it is, if you play certain FBS schools, you can have a perfect play call, and it's you know almost impossible for you to win that football game. You know your players are not going to believe, uh, your coach is going to have hard to believe, and it's it's almost like you have to do a psych job. But when you play against other FCS schools, I think you know you have a legitimate chance to compete. Uh, you're recruiting a lot of the same players now. Yes, they may have certain other advantages that we don't have when it comes to certain things that they can do in their program, uh, you know, how they get transfers and all that type of stuff. Uh, the recruiting pool is a little bit different. But at the end of the day, it's a football game that we can win. We just have to go up there. And like I said, a lot of times winning football games is not beating yourself. And that's what we're trying to do. When I took over as head coach, I said I want to play more regional football games. I don't think we should have to go all over the place to play uh, teams. It's a lot of FCS schools in the state of Texas. I think I counted the other day. It's either 11 or 13 FCS schools within a five-hour drive of Prairie View. So we can play those schools, and I think we should be able to compete with them, despite some of the disadvantages that we may be 
uh, played with or some of the advantages that they have. But if we go out there and don't beat ourselves, I talk to our guys, you know, we're teaching the same fundamentals. We're teaching the same techniques. Our 45 pound weights weigh the same as the ones that Texas A&M or Texas. So it's, it's up to us to go out there and prove it on the field that we can play, compete, and win these football games. How much of a sale job is it? Because you know when it comes to SWAC competition, when you get in the SWAC conference, uh, SWAC play that particular week, you don't have to coach up guys because they know it's at stake. But it seems to be a different – I know you try to make it the same type of preparation. Unfortunately, do you see the same type of emotion and energy when you step out of conference in preparation as compared to in conference? I, I think so to a certain extent. Uh, and a lot of it is – you know, just making that one small mistake, and when you make that mistake, don't let it turn into a snowball effect. Uh, and I know some of their players have been calling some of our guys, you know, talking about what they're going to do and all that kind of stuff. And, and hopefully that will motivate our guys to pay a little bit more attention to details or, you know, play a little bit harder. But I like I tell my guys, self-motivation is the best motivation. I don't need my president or athletic director, you know, giving me phone calls telling me what I should be doing. You know, I'm, I'm a worker by heart and I want my guys to be workers by heart. You don't need anyone to tell you what you should be doing or hey man, you know, I'm going to do this and that's going to make me work harder. You, you should be self-motivated. So uh, I think our guys focus, you know, every game that we play. You know, sometimes you're dealing with 18 through 21 year old guys and you don't know where their emotional state is uh, and you know, how everything is going to work out but at the end of the day, you're a college football player and you should treat every opponent with respect and uh, not fear.